Okay, Big Ridge here with Ohio Fish Rescue, and we're here today. We got a bunch of things going on. First off, we got Eric, my buddy Eric Sorensen shows up here. He's going to bring by a bunch of cichlids, little babies that, uh, what, an inch long or something? Yeah, inch, inch and a half. Okay, that uh, he, he, he offered to bring over here, and I've got so many people come by today, I think I'll get rid of all 150 of them today. Yeah. But, could you go ahead and tell us what they are? Neolamprologus tetracanthus. <laughs> I said, to, they, what? <laughs> they get to about eight to nine inches, and they're a pretty aggressive Tanganyika fish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love when you get into a few certain breeds and you know, certain types of fish, right. and you know all the, the, the right names for them and yeah. everything, <laughs> and Latin and, and the, the slang names and all right. that. And, and, you know, I'm over here, I'm dealing with, you know, 3,000 different varieties, and I don't know pretty much the main name for hardly yeah. any of them, except yeah. for the ones I deal with all the time. Yeah. And, you know, you caught me off guard with that name. Say it one more time. Neolamprologus tetracanthus. Neolamprologus tetracanthus. Yes. It's I now got a new part of it. Uh, you know, I got some more information to yes. stuff in this brain. <laughs> From, it's a Lake Tanganyikan cichlid. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for that, buddy. You're welcome. Stick with us and see what kind of trouble we got. We got Seth and Olivia here. They come out to get fish. Oh, you, you could have waited for the camera to catch that. <laughs> Stick with us, guys. I'm Are you done yet? You around if you don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we got Eric's fish. We put a, a, a air bubbler in there with all the babies, so that'll hold them off until people come. We already got people that want them and wants to come get them, so people are coming to get them already. Hopefully, I won't have to put them in a tank. We can leave them in the bucket until they're gone. Okay, since there's people here, we went ahead and took this tank off the top of here, and it's halfway down. And it's down to the last minute for a second. You want to rest it on this tank and then lift it? Yep, just go all, all the way to the end. Right Stop around. right about there. We got about four, four inches and then we're going down. Okay. Go to, towards the end. Wait, hold up. Make sure everybody's set. Uh, what was your name again? Bobby? Bobby? Yeah. Uh, make sure you got it. Move up as, as close to Jason as you can. There you go. Pull, pull it out right, a little bit. Towards the tank boy. There you go. There you now. Our, our job is to take this gracefully to the floor under the rollers. Okay. You don't want your hands on the end because it'll 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 hit this corner right here. Right Once it comes side. off, it wants to drop. You guys ready? And try not to grab like this. It'll don't pop grab off. like this. Right. It'll pop off. Grab from underneath. Okay. And we're just going straight to the ground. All right. Ready? ready. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I can't. Can you I'll see that roller? Yep. Yeah, we're good. Good job, guys. That was the worst part. Now, we need you guys to lift it up and carry it outside. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you want me to do about this thing? It's coming off. Yeah, just ran around the building. These guys are doing a good job. Now, the reason I wasn't on that end, I helped Josh move it off the top. But I can't bend over, so these guys can bend over. We're going to lift up this side, set that side on the carpet. As we come up, we might need to shimmy it back, and we'll lay it right up on the side, and we'll get it back on the, the roller again. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait, hang on. Take, uh, let's get that one roller off of this side. Uh, yeah, I'm going to lift up this up. You take We're going to send you home with the sore back yet, Seth. <laughs> Sorry, so you thought up. them, you thought them free fish sword. are free, right? I <laughs> showed up with the sore. Did you? so much for these free fish. <laughs> <laughs> they all showed up for free fish. Guess what? We put them to work. I don't charge by the weight, I charge by the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I cannot believe we got that off of there that easy. You should have seen. We had five people putting it up on there, and it was a bear. It took every bit of my... <laughs> it took every bit of my strength to get that thing up on there. I, I busted butt on that day. I'm glad that door's open. What are they going to use this for? Um, that I don't know. <laughs> um, this is a family-friendly show, 
and we are videoing. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to use it. That part out. Okay, they're going to use it as a paperweight. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> well, of a desk. Thank you, guys. That's that's it, the, the the size of it is that's deceiving. Right it's there. deceivingly heavy, ain't it? That's all glass, eleven foot by four foot by one foot. It's a great frag tank. We were going to use it for baby stingrays, but then it started bowing in the the two by fours on there, so I couldn't put water in it. So it's just too heavy for up top of there. Okay, we just slid it down a little bit. Now we have access to this tank and access to that tank until this this person shows up that's buying it, and uh, we will have it out of our way. So now here's plenty of here's plenty of ideas. Somebody said build a little cage up here and have it for the wintertime tortoises, which is nice with little windows on this side. That would work. Uh, we can do that. Or a smaller tank for the baby stingrays because if you notice, we have water coming over from these two hoses going into this tank. This one we can regulate slower or faster. This one's full blast over there. But if we ran it to a small tub right here, anytime we have baby stingrays, we can run it through and then its overflow can run over and drop down. So, I mean, that was our purpose, is we wanted it for the baby stingrays. But it was just too heavy, and then with water in it, you can see this 2x4 here is bending already. So it was just way too heavy. So if we do it between this one and the end one that won't bow, the corner and the wall right here, it won't be that much weight, and it should be okay for the baby stingrays. That's what we're trying to contemplate on. So now this is going to be in our way for the next, I don't know, four or five days but today was the day we happened to have extra help here because we advertised free fish <laughs> and we got bobby our, our community service comes by every sunday and uh oh speaking of community service i just donated a tank to the cleveland public defender's office and i told them they asked me what i wanted for it i told them absolutely nothing they said they can't do that blah 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 i said well then put me on more of your community service list and they're like, what? And I'm like, well, I'm, I already work with four different probation officers. We have community service coming out here. Now the Cleveland Public Defender's Office is going to refer us as a you know, community service destination. Awesome. <laughs> now, to get to the meat and potatoes of this video, we are now taking all these koi out because you all seen him try and go after a fish on one of Reaper's video. So we're going to take these koi out. I'm going to decide which ones we're keeping. The ones we're keeping, we're going to throw in with these fancy tail goldfish over here. We already got one. There's a shack koi right here that we took out. So we're going to put our fancy tail shack koi that we're keeping into here. The rest of these, we're going to go ahead and throw into this first 195 tank right here. And that way, come springtime, we can sell the, every fish that's in that tank. So Josh is now taking the lids off. Well, you ain't got to wait for springtime. If they're here and someone's got indoor ponds, you can do them. We just gotta you got to figure out what you're selling them for because, you know, this is this is something a little special that people might want. They're a conversation piece, yeah. you know. Let the people in the co comments decide. You have two options here. So there's a limited number of shack koi. There's probably... We'll never I'd get them again. Uh, maybe a hundred if we're, we're lu lucky. They can't came from Shaquille O'Neal. The koi came here and bred. You'll never get them uh, again. So they're a conversation piece. One of a kind. And, and it's a they, specialty thing. And they you know? came from very nice koi. And so, they were raised by Ohio Fish Rescue. Right. They've got the, the parents were, you know, what, what was that, uh, $1,000 a piece, yep. 30 inches, 36 inches koi, and no one will ever have these again. These were Shaquille O'Neal's babies. Shaquille okay. has the parents. We raised them. They're Ohio Fish Rescue's Shaq koi. One of two, two, two things. We can either A, set a flat price of, say, 50 bucks a piece and just let them go first come first serve or we we do some type of raffle or third option we could do like a, a type of au an auction you know the highest bit the bidder gets first pick then go dot down the line second highest bit bidder gets the second pick okay so they're gone so you guys option. let us know what you guys a, want flat price b raffle c auction let us know what you guys think. But here, some of these koi. <laughs> They're just so quickly to go by. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I know I'm okay, here's one that we're keeping. He's a big near scale, beautiful colors. 
Less than them. It went down as one they both went down left. Yeah. Okay. I just need you to look. I'm gonna net them out as you look. I know you're keeping the long fin. Just look and see if there's any regular body ones that you want to keep. Yes, there's a couple. I just know, know the two that I want, so I know when they cut them out, I can grab them. You can show each one in your hand there. Nice mirror scales as a butterfly. Damn. All the butterflies. <laughs> Do you see him? Where'd he go? Bottom right. Bottom right. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Super long thing. Yeah. Right, look at this one. This one's beautiful. That's the bronze. Oh, that's that chocolate one. Yes. Can you believe that that, that is the brother of that there? one? These. And, and, you know, I found out that the, the smaller ones, the, the ones that grow the slowest and turn out the best, or at least someone told me that, I don't know, but I know that some are, are 10 inches long and some are only 4 inches long. Right. And they're, they're a year and a half old or something. Nope. Okay. Here's some more. Someone with the net on that side. Get up on that letter set. Yeah. Can you bring that bucket over in between us? Oh, this guy right here is gorgeous. He took off. That's a cool one. Or if you just I'll want to keep this chasing them this way, I'll keep catching them. Probably a little bit of both. But we have to get them out of here because the, the sturgeon is eating the smaller ones. <clears throat> So this is an idea that did not work out with us. Go back that way. There's a hole in this net. Yeah. You're just supposed to scare him this way. Butterfly. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now we got our first bucket full. Hang on a second, Josh. Move this plant out of the way. Alright, now this tank has been empty. Josh is going to go ahead and pour them in there so that we got them for the spring uh, sale or whatever. Oh, there they go. Big ones, small ones, medium ones. Now, the smallest one's about four inches, biggest one's about a foot. I know it looks smaller on video, but that's about the size they are. So we got a bunch out this time. We got to go back. There's still a bunch more over here. Let me see here. There's a bunch there. There's a bunch across the center here and on that side. But they're getting harder to catch. Look at this. I've got the Booney family working. Olivia and Seth Booney. They are both trying to catch these fish. And Jerry's the receiver. He puts them in the bucket for them. And uh, we're, we're doing good here. I can just keep running in, checking on Tracy. Because when I'm filming, I can't have her on my phone. So I film for a couple, couple seconds, minutes, and I go running in, checking on her, making sure everything's okay. Uh, but I, I, you know, Skyler's inside watching Tracy, but still scares me to leave her alone like that. So usually I have Tracy on my phone when I'm out here when nurse ain't here. But thanks to the Booney family. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you, Seth. Oh yeah. <laughs> Turn and look at the camera. You're on. You're on Ohio Fish Rescue. My best side showing. Ohio Fish Rescue. Oh, put him in the water. Okay, we've got our 500 gallon full of the fish we want to keep. And now, this 750 is devoid of all fish except for the sturgeon and one koi that Josh and CJ, you guys know CJ, our moderator, are trying to uh, catch. 
Is he, the, is he in the bubbles right now? No, he's in the front, like by your window. Oh, there he is. Now he's outside. Got one fish left, and he's giving them a problem. <laughs> oh, he got loose. He's in the middle back. Josh is waiting patiently for him to come to his side. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Past you, Josh. Josh got him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> CJ don't even care. He's like, good, we're done. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Now all we got to do is turn the uh, pump back on, and this will start filling back up. And the sturgeon is in there by himself, and we can add other fish in with him. Just nothing he can swallow. Okay, Josh just got done putting on the lids back on, and now we're plugging the pump back in, and you're going to see the water. There it goes. This is what we have running into this tank, and it'll start filling up, hit the overflows, and overflow out, and we're done. Finally. Oh, CJ, careful, son. <laughs> but we got some beautiful fish out of there that we're going to end up keeping here. These are all beautiful. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, CJ. You guys rocked. <laughs> Hop up on that table and help him with that. Oh, you got it? Okay. Well, then we're all set. Thank you, guys. You guys did a great job. Okay, Josh, what did you just say? So I was grabbing a bucket of water off the monster pond, and uh, Arowana jumped three foot out the water and got my hand. Oh, no. That. Oh, he got you on front. Let me see the other side. And back. He jumped out of the water and bit you? Yeah. Wow! I was standing straight up. I grabbed the water, stood straight up, and he went up and got me. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Have they ever jumped like that? National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who else has got a fish tank full of fish that'll jump three foot out of the water and get you? <laughs> hey, Josh, I know how I feel. <laughs> okay, guys, now it is done. We got it full back up. We wanted to get in there and clean it while... It was low, but Josh plugged it in and didn't tell us, and now it's filled back up. But look at the sidewalls. All this, all this algae we could have taken off here, scrubbed it off. To do that, we're going to have to drain it back down again and clean it. But right now, we've got him in there to where it is good. He can eat all the food we put in there, and he's not going to be able to eat anybody. Now in the 500, look at all these guys. Yes, all beautiful. And then over here, these are all the shack koi that we will be getting rid of. There's a bunch of them there. They're all over the place. We will get rid of all of these. Which are, you know, beautiful in their own right. It's just that they're not what, you know, Tracy wants all the butterfly koi's. So that's what I kept out of the, I kept maybe three others, but the butterfly koi's is mainly what I kept out of the shack koi. So these are all Shat Koi babies that were not butterfly. Well, I hope you appreciated the video. You know, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell. And if you can, share our videos. And until next time, stay fishy, my friends.